It's the 2nd of August, 2001. I think now we have to repair work uh, immediately. It's taken with it the top course of brick, you can see it lifting quite significantly and it's lifting out the way. And that whole section right down to about this position uh, in front of me appears to be. from up here you can see the coverage in the area down below that could be affected it's uh, certainly a dramatic view from up here and the areas that were giving concern uh, to the engineer you can see quite obviously at the top I'm trying to illustrate it I don't want to disturb too much you can see the brickwork there shifting quite far out and there I can lift that brick clean out, absolutely no binding in it at all, no bedding off it, and that's it. it's almost like a dry brick wall just being held together. Very unsound, equally the brickwork uh, adjacent to it, and obviously it rules out any chance that we did have of making a, a drop on the opposite elevation. Very dangerous, you can see the plant, I don't know what's getting used and what's not, but the plant directly below will be affected, and of course anybody that's moving about in those areas. And you can see how, just how easily I lifted that section out, there's a condition of the mortar, completely dried out. I think this has been caused by general deterioration and intact now that we're starting to see areas shifting. Uh, I would rule out any lightning strikes simply because I don't think it would be an isolated fault, I think you would see more damage. And obviously the condition of the, the adjoining bricks, the adjacent bricks, is of concern. I'm trying to illustrate this. Yep, see there we can just almost prise the whole thing apart. Very unsound. You see how much I've shifted that out. Just no binding in it whatsoever. Absolutely finished at the top here. Thankfully, nobody has been hurt, and I think it's now time uh, without really delay. It's it's a, it's a danger waiting to happen. It's difficult to establish where to stop. Uh, immediately below me we have the corbel detail. Uh, that's a, a more robust section of masonry, but the thing is once you get the plate off, you'll find this brick will, will tend to almost heave uh, with the relate 
the, the release uh, the removal of this weight and that's where we get problems. So it may be worthwhile continuing further down to say below the, the and establish a new height and then trying to bind the section back together again. It's absolutely finished. I'm loath to really disturb too much, simply because we're descending down below this area. Um, but you can see the problems that we've got, and I think now we have to take uh, some emergency action. Now this is just below the position we were, we were sitting in. I think if you look round towards the west, you can actually see some brickwork movement. You get another concern, see the condition of these joints all unsound and the whole section of brickwork is listing uh, out the way. There you can see where I've removed these bricks. The mortar on the inside heavily contaminated, uh, just to, completely disintegrated. And as we move round you can see the condition just worsens towards the north side. problems as it's been uh, pointed in the past and this has probably hidden the problem rather than resolved the problems. And I've just dropped down below the carbon uh, detail or some certainly going down to the base of the corbel detail which is three metres from the head and establishing a new height there. You see the uh, attack and the mortar joints all built up there. I think it's really just compression that's helped to, 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 to bind it all together for the time being. Five meter level. This is just below the, the, the corbel detail, that's the, the, the first course of the corbel section there. And here the joints are quite heavily weathered. I'll try and illustrate exactly the findings. It's a little bit friable. But it's certainly, actually, some of these joints are a bit. Certainly, the, the first 10 or 15 mil is a wee bit porous and friable. I think it'd be safe to say that you know, once we get down to a height like this, and with the provided we take some precautions to, to, to bind this brickwork together at this level and even try and establish a little bit of weight back on even if it were just uh, concrete slabs or something along those lines and bind it all together I'd be reasonably confident that um, the stack would, would hold together and we could keep an eye on it over the next year or so The other solution, of course, is therefore to continue the demolition to a level where the, the brickwork uh, or the mortar condition improves. But just determining that it is quite hard without uh, adequate scaffolding because we're only really looking at one elevation. At 72 metres, this is where we get the second short corbel detail. I'll try and illustrate this as best I can. We've certainly got a marked improvement in the uh, weathering of the joints. You see the, the depth isn't quite so much, I think, as we've seen at 75. And it's a 
bit more brittle, still slightly friable, but certainly harder conditions. And certainly the brickwork appears to be holding together well. There's no sign of any shifting at all. Certainly improving at this position. So I think as a safety precaution, certainly 72 or anywhere above that for a metre or so, we could establish a new height and they would be in a uh, safe position to probably remove the, the fencing at the base. Sixty-three metres. A marked improvement in the condition of the mortar joint. It's quite brittle at this position. So slightly weathered, but not quite as uh, as we've seen higher up. And certainly towards the north side, the condition greatly improves. This is all the reconstruction. And there's no obvious sign of any uh, significant deterioration, certainly at this level. 44 metres, minor fracture that picked up on just travelling through the brickwork at this position. It's all thermal expansion and contraction. I don't see it as a major problem. 39 metres from ground level. It's just here that we get the transition from the, the new brickwork to the old. Clearly there's been quite a serious structural problem uh, from this position up. You can see the heavy duty bands that have been put in place in two positions and then possibly an addition or a, on a one that was originally fitted to this has been reused. But it certainly helped to bind it together. There's no significant stress on the bands and the flanges. It's always better to see double bolts in these connections but certainly no significant corrosion. So really no concern for the time being. That's 14 metres to the gantry, or 14.2. All the heights that we've recorded are from ground level, as best as we can estimate. Just toward the west elevation, there's that fracture. We've obviously known about it for some time, it's quite significant. But I can only uh, speculate, it's been here for a long time. Certainly, it looks quite dirty, and there's been obviously quite a number of attempts to try and patch it up. The bands are showing no significant sign of any stress. And there's no real indication to say that, the, that this is a major problem. I think, of course, if the chimney was being used, we could stem it and seal it. But if it's not being used, uh, it doesn't present too much of a concern. And the bands so no real sign of stress except like this location. I'm going to conclude the survey there and uh, we'll move on to the adjacent stack. What I've done is I've just come back from the chimney and looking up from the uh, round towards the west side and this is the side that we could see heavily listing and hopefully you can quite clearly see just how much movement there has been there. The whole top section is almost contracted and split. The brickwork, the mortar, certainly that top section, not as tight as we like to see it, so the recommendation certainly the top four metres taking us to about that position there to establish a new height. And that should be adequate to, to see us through for certainly for the next year or so and then we can look at it again.